think it's time for a kitten update. So the last you saw, I had three kittens that I was bottle feeding. Um, I plumped them up. They are so snuggly and cuddly. One of them has the hurt leg, you remember. Uh, if you don't remember, I'll link it below, but they are the sweetest kittens in the whole world. We just recently took them back to the Humane Society. They were ready for their surgery to be neutered and spayed. Um, and when that time comes, that's the last I get to see the kittens. They stay and they get adopted. Now, I feel okay because these three kittens all had holds placed on them. Um, so they're already adopted. The one with the hurt leg is being adopted by my daughter's best friend's cousin and her grandma. So he's going to be really well taken care of. And then the other two are going to live together. They're being adopted by one of my high school best friends who lives not too far from here so I can visit them whenever I want, which is the best case scenario. Now, while we had those three kittens in our care, two more kittens came to us and they were called hissy kittens. They're kind of a little bit wild, super scared, um, and they hiss at you anytime you try to touch them. So they're a little bit intimidating um, and it's really cute, but we had to help them kind of come out of their shell. They were supposed to be socialized with our kittens. Um, and so we just took time every day handling them so where they would get used to human touch. Because the ultimate goal is that we want the kittens adopted, right? They have to be adoptable and people are not going to want to adopt kittens that are so hissy at them that you're afraid to pick up the tiny animal. So we worked with them and you know every day we handled them, I uh, eventually let them out of their cages and they really came out of their shells. The black one really didn't have a problem at all. He became super socialized and he strikes me as a type of cat that's gonna like wander your neighborhood. He's gonna, he's pretty independent. The gray, the little fluffy gray one, she's so pretty. Um, she took a little more time. She was pretty scared the entire time uh, but I've been forcing my love on her and I think it's working she purred today um, that was a big accomplishment she doesn't like me to pick her up she hisses and growls a little bit but I think that's just an initial reaction to physical touch I think a lot of adult humans can relate to that and when we brought her back to the Humane Society she was at a point where you could pick her up, you could hold her, she's no longer hissing. Um, she would purr, like she likes to be pet, but sh anything would scare her. Loud noise, she'll just take off. If you move too fast, she takes off. So I am a little bit hopeful and concerned that she, I just wanna make sure she finds a home. And right now, as of today, um, she's still on the website for adoption. It's been 24 hours, <laughs> but I keep refreshing the page like, why is anyone adopting her? It's already been a whole day. She's just sitting there waiting. So when we took those five kittens in, they had, of course, three more kittens for us to foster. And that is where these kittens come into play. So we are now on our technically third litter of kittens that we're fostering. So the three kittens that they had for us are actually at an adoptable age. They're big enough, but they're sick. And they have been sitting in cages for two weeks being sick and you know the Humane Society does what they can they give them medicine every day um, but they don't have time to sit down and snuggle them and like read books to them like I do so um, all they wanted was a home a nice warm room let them play um, let them get out of the shelter out of their cages and give them of course their medicine every day and that's what we've been doing so every day I give them whatever draw a mouthful of medication which they don't like um, they're a little bit, the black and white one that we have is a little bit shy. You can actually hear them wheezing when they breathe. It's like a very like fluid, um, you know, they're just, they sound like they have pneumonia. The black kitten and the tabby are very sociable. Uh, the tabby is, a, is pretty feisty, it's super purry and sweet, but also like just wants to play. Look at him. Look. Okay. Sorry. Um, the little black one is not quite as crazy. Uh, super sweet. Huh. And the black and white one is a lot more scared, a lot more skittish, but very snuggly. She starts purring. She, she'll warm up. She'll warm up to a family in no time. Um, she's got like wiry hair, so she's fluffy, but she's not, she's not 
she's furry, but she's not fluffy. Um, she's very bony. I don't think that they eat enough, so I'm gonna fatten that girl up before she leaves me too. Out of the three, I think the, the black and white one seems to be the sickest. Um, she's wheezing the most, but she's super cute. We're hoping after a little TLC and two weeks of medicine, they're gonna be back to their healthy selves in no time and they're gonna find some wonderful homes. Thank you.